Usually when we go to sea, we're out at sea for weeks at a time. And I am away from my family a lot. And that, that is difficult. It's just, this is really what I love to do and I, I can't imagine doing anything else in the world. Really selfishly, I love going places that no one's ever been before. <laughs> so we're sitting at an area we refer to as the margin of Costa Rica. And there, there's the Pacific Plate, which is sliding underneath Costa Rica. On the Pacific Plate is a line of seamounts. So everywhere you get a seamount going beneath or subducting beneath Costa Rica, it pushes the plate above it and it squeezes all the fluids out of it and the fluids are what are seeping out. That's why we call them seeps. No one has ever been down with a camera and looked to see what kinds of communities are on these seamounts. And it, it's sort of difficult to justify a marine protected area over something that you've never seen before. But if you say we should go protect these seamounts because these species of coral are there and these fish aggregate there and they're breeding there and these seamounts are connected to each other and these seamounts are connected to the communities on the margin of Costa Rica and these seamounts are connected to seamounts in the wider Pacific. Or there are species on these seamounts that we don't find anywhere else in the world. That is a, a major justification for protecting them. So these colonization rocks are carbonates that are, were collected previously from methane seeps and put out without any animals on them. And now, as we can see, they've got quite a lot of animals on them, mostly mollusks, snails, and uh, limpets. Acabamos de encontrar un esqueleto, probablemente de un vesbela, y tiene un montón de bacterias creciendo alrededor, rosadas, anaranjadas. Más del 50% de Costa Rica está a más de 2.500 metros de profundidad. La mitad del país está en zonas profundas. Entonces estas son oportunidades únicas para poder ir y explorar que tenemos en el área más grande de Costa Rica. A lot of people seem to view the deep sea as sort of out of sight, out of mind, but the, the deep ocean affects everything else on the planet. Most of the carbon on Earth is in the deep ocean. It's the largest reservoir on Earth, and that carbon can stay there for a very long time if the deep sea ecosystem is functioning properly.